Welcome to the MicroFocus Identity and Access Management video series. I'm Kent Purdy, Product Marketing Manager for Access Management. I'm Kevin Pryor, an Access Solutions Presales Engineer. Well, thanks, Kevin, for joining us. In this video, we're going to talk about impersonation. But before you go into your demo, let's talk about the business reasons why an organization would like to even enable impersonation. Mm -hmm. Sure. Well, oftentimes people will need to go out of town, but there's something that needs to be accessed on their behalf. However, you don't want to give them their your credentials, right? right? So if you were to go out of town, you don't want to give me your password because now I can get into things as you using your password. So what advantage of security-wise would I have of, of impersonating you rather than just giving you my credentials? What's different between the two? Well, the main thing is the auditing, right? So now when we log in as our uh, user here, we're going to be using the impersonation user's one-time password. Right. So now when I log in as Bud Fox, I'm going to be using the secretary or coworker or whomever might fill that role, their one-time password that they use every day for their login authentication. So show us, uh, show us some impersonating going on with authentication. Sure. Well, what we have right here is basically this is our help desk module. So Bud is going to go ahead and contact the help desk and speaks to Helen. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to type in his username because we want to manage him as a user. Now what you'll notice here is that Bud already has multiple authentications that are enrolled, yep. but we also have this up here at the top which is our linked authenticators. So when I click on this here now, you'll notice that nobody else is linked to Bud's account. Right. So in this case here, I'll simply go ahead and type in that user. And as you notice here, there's a few methods that this user has enrolled. We're going to select TOTP. And now we'll go ahead and we'll save this. Right. So at this point here, Bud can now hang up with the help desk. Now Mary is going to go to another workstation, and we'll demonstrate that here. Yeah, so Bud's, Bud's headed out of town. He's enjoying life. Yep. And now at this point here, Mary is going to type in Bud's username. All right. And notice here that we're being prompted for a one-time password. So we support many different tokens. For example, uh, here's an HID mini token that we have. We also have the Fishin tokens. We support any open oath compliant tokens. And I've also got Google Authenticator. So here I've got Mary enrolled, and I'm going to type in that number. And notice now that we're being logged into the desktop as Bud, and Mary used her one time password to authenticate as him. So at this point here, now that we're here at the desktop, for example, we can go ahead and start the mail. And you'll notice here that we're now into Bud's mail. We can go ahead and monitor that as well as the other applications here that are firing up here in the background. Very cool. And as we talked about earlier, every time Mary goes in, that access is, is logged. And if there's ever any audit, they'll see that, that Mary accessed Bud's application. That is correct. Very cool. So that's a very cool demo. I'm glad you showed it because I'm guessing a lot of folks never even heard of linked authentication or impersonation and probably didn't even think about how it could be used in their business. And thank you for watching this video. If you have a moment, please check out our other Identity and Access Management videos.